Boris Long. Well, the finance minister is out buying new budget shoes today. She should drop by a Toronto food bank where one in ten Torontonians are having to use their services after eight years of her government. Tomorrow's expensive photo op budget will only confirm why interest rates are staying higher for longer and why Canadians can't afford to eat, heat, and house themselves. After eight years of this Liberal NDP government, they are not worth the cost of housing. Will this Liberal NDP government listen to Conservatives, cap spending, bring in a dollar for dollar law to bring down inflation and interest rates so Canadians don't lose their homes? Well said. All these mortgage renewals, man, are going to be brutal. Maybe the honourable member opposite needs to take a look at what is announced earlier this month and the month before, which is that inflation in Canada is below 3% for the second month in a row. Mr. Speaker, triple A debt rating for this country, one of the very few countries in the world to have that. Mr. Speaker, lowest debt to GDP ratio. Party is all doom and gloom. We are here working every day for Canadians on a school food program, on, ca- on a Canada child benefit, on making sure that we have $10 child care across the country. Mr. Speaker, we're working for Canadians each and every day. Nah. Make life more affordable. From Calgary Force. Sounds that complicated. With answers like that, he'll make a great high-priced Liberal consultant after the next election. Who's not? <laughs> <laughs> Canadians are going to a food bank in a single month. <laughs> To this year. That's so sad, but so real. See the dream of home ownership, where uh, rents and mortgages have doubled after failed policy of the Liberal NDP government. Why doesn't he get with the program and and before he gets kicked out of his position and listen to Canadians? Why don't they implement a dollar for dollar law, cap the spending, so Canadians don't lose their homes? There you go, man. The Honourable Minister for Employment and Workforce Development. Mr. Speaker, that party and that member not only have no plan for housing, the meagre plan that they have actually wants to make it more expensive to build houses in this country. And they're against every single measure that we've done to actually make home ownership affordable for Canadians. Again, Mr. Speaker, that Alberta MP voted against Air Products, $1.6 billion net hydrogen plant in our province, voted against the first carbon capture use and storage net zero cement plan in our province. Mr. Speaker, they're voting against Alberta jobs. They're voting against Canadians. We're here for Albertans and Canadians each and every day. The Honourable Member from Peterborough, Kawartha. After eight years, this NDP Liberal government Prime Minister is not worth the cost. Emily Whedon is a single mom who lost her home because she didn't qualify for her mortgage renewal. Why? Because of this Liberal NDP inflationary spending, which has driven up interest rates. So now she's forced to rent. She's paying nearly $4,000 for a 600-square-foot apartment. Tomorrow's budget, we're asking for the Prime Minister to show compassion and sanity. Have a dollar of spending for every new dollar spent so Canadians can afford to keep their homes. Yeah. The Honourable President of the Treasury Board. Mr. Speaker, what you will see in tomorrow's budget is support for renters and homeowners alike, and we'll do that all the while being fiscally prudent with the lowest debt to GDP ratio in the G7 with a triple A credit rating from an independent objective observer, Mr. Speaker, as well as traditionally low unemployment. We do that at the same time as working for the most vulnerable in this country, something that the Conservatives vote against every single time. We expect all members of this House to support Canadians across the board. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member from Peterborough, Kawartha. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. What what Canadians don't believe is anything they say. They've had eight years to prove a record, and more homes were built in the 1970s than have been built today. Ten cities across this country are normal. Don't tell people they've never had it so good when we have record high usage of food banks, when we have young people who will never own a home, and when interest rates have went up 2%, causing $10,000 a year in interest payments alone. Shame. Let's do a dollar for dollar. Let's show some sanity and let's allow Canadians to keep their homes. The Honourable Minister for Families. Drop some W's in the chat, everybody. I think what Canadians need to know is what the Conservative response is to the affordability challenges that Canadians are facing. It's cuts. It's cuts to the programs that they need and are supporting 
them in a time of need, abandoning them when they most need it. On this side of the House, we've put forward a national school food program. We've put forward $10 a day child care, the Canada Child Benefit, supports that are helping Canadians put food on the table and support their families, in contrast to everything that they oppose.